Hey Eagle fans, thanks for joining us for another installment of Sports Talk with the Jordan, your number one spot for pregame chit chat. I'm John Bolts. And I'm Kevin Gregan. Uh, this week we're going to talk about the matchup between the Furman University Paladins and the Georgia Southern Eagles. Yes. Kevin, last weekend Georgia Southern won against Wofford College, right? Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about that game? Well, the Wofford College was going into the game first, uh, ranked first overall in the SOCON. Mm -hmm. um, they came into Paulson on military appreciation and lost 17-9 to in a very defensive game for both teams. Right, and this ga that game put Georgia Southern in the number one spot. So they, swipped, they swapped places, and now Wofford's at number two, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Okay, well, Georgia Southern now, their record is 5-0, and 5-1, and excuse me, and 4-1 and in the SOCON. Yeah, this week uh, they're going to take on Furman, who's uh, one and three in the SoCon, mm -hmm. and two and five overall so far this season. Right. Um, the, the Furman's coming off a loss uh, against the, the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. They lost 31 to 10. So it's going to be a big game for uh, Furman to try to have some sort of, uh, you know. Um, some sort of like revenge, revenge, or so, to try to come back. Period. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's going to be a, a big thing for Furman to try to do that. Because last season, mm -hmm. the Eagles won at Paulson Stadium against Furman, 50 to 20. Oh, so it's going to be it's going to be rough uh, for Furman this week. A uh, big thing for Georgia Southern to focus on is just not to uh, count them count uh, count them down. You know, don't yeah. don't take uh, Furman for granted. Right. Alrighty then, well let's jump right into it. Let's talk a little bit about some offense. Let's start with Georgia Southern's offense. What mm -hmm. can you tell me about Georgia Southern's offense this week? All right, uh, Georgia Southern uh, has been rushing the ball good all year. Mm -hmm. um, they're rush they're averaging 408 yards per game, mm -hmm. which is pretty high, pretty well, pretty good, um, I would say. Uh, led by uh, Jarek McKinnon, who's been taking the snaps for the last few games. Yes. Um, so far, he has four rushing touchdowns and two passing touchdowns, which is good for him. Um, one of the big persons that he's been passing the ball off to is Dominic Swope. Okay. He's a very uh, he's leading the team in rushing. He's a good rusher. Um, he has ten touchdowns this season, and the so basically the Georgia Southern offense is looking good. Right, and uh, to my understanding, he has 662 rushing yards total this season. Mm -hmm. That is a ton of rushing yards for one yeah, person. Yeah, through six games, that's right. pretty good. Right, okay. So how about the Furman offense? What are they looking like? Um, Furman's offense, it looks pretty decent. Um, they have a quarterback, Reese Hannon. Mm -hmm. He likes to go to the air a lot. He's not really a big rusher. He's an average rusher. He likes to go to the air a lot, but um, still, the Georgia Southern defense will have no problem shutting that down. But... They do have a running back, Jadaris Williams. Mm -hmm. He's like the Georgia Southern Dominic Swope. Okay. So, right. you know, but he does boast some more a higher rushing yards, rushing yardage mm -hmm. than Dominic Swope. He has um, seven touchdowns on this season compared to Dominique's 10, you know, but um, he has 815 rushing yards this season so far. That's very, very good. Yes, that is a very impressive number for one person. So um, the Eagle defense is really going to have to look out for Mr. Williams. Well, uh, the, the defense is looking good against uh, Williams and Hennon uh, mm -hmm. and the Furman Paladins. Mm -hmm. um, so far this season, uh, they've been playing well the last couple games especially. Mm -hmm. uh, Georgia Southern allowed zero touchdowns against uh, the Citadel offense that was really good, uh, especially in rushing. Mm -hmm. So they've been playing extremely well, holding teams to field goals, and that's due in large part to play by uh, senior defensive tackle Brent Russell. Okay. Um, not only does he help shut down the run game, but he also uh, is a pretty good uh, pass rusher. He's half a sack away from breaking the GSU career sacks record. Wow. Yeah, so the defense is going to hope to place as strong as they have been against Furman. Mm -hmm. So I think that Russell is going to be coming out really strong just mm -hmm. to just to reach that record and I think he's going to be encouraging his line to do so also I think yeah. he's I'm really excited for Russell to make this record it's out it's also his son's sixth birthday against Furman on Saturday really? so I'm sure I'm pretty sure that Brent will play pretty well good yeah. I'm looking forward to it yeah. all right well um Furman's defense they're pretty solid as well they have 11 total sacks over the season hmm. um and they have two key linebackers, Gary Wilkins and Mitch McGrath. They are very aggressive on that line. 
Um, Wilkins has 62 tackles all in the season, mm -hmm. and um, McGrath has two interceptions and one sack. So um, the Eagles really have to look after those two um, on the line. Sounds good. It sounds like it's going to be a, a pretty interesting day. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty interesting day. Um, all right, you guys. Well, that seems like that's it for the technical stuff. Um, I'm going to make sure that you follow us on Twitter. We'll be tweeting live updates during the game um, at the Georgian Sport. And also, make sure you follow us online. We will be producing quarter-by-quarter uh, -quarter updates and also a final game recap at thegeorgian.com. Okay, uh, make sure that uh, you also check out the other additional articles um, that go a little more in-depth about how the game was going. Mm -hmm. um, in the paper on Tuesday. On Tuesday, yes. On Tuesday's, next Tuesday's edition. Make sure you check out those papers. All right, you guys, well, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll have Anthony Saylor, who has our weather for this weekend at Furman University. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sitting here with Anthony Saylor, who has our weekend forecast. Yeah, we're actually going to see those cool fall-like temperatures in the area of Greenville on Saturday. So let's take a look at our tailgate forecast. We'll start off for morning with mostly sunny skies and a temperature at 45 degrees. At 9, temperatures move up to 51 degrees still with mostly sunny skies. And in the afternoon hours, we'll see temperatures in the upper 50s with small patches of clouds. Rain chances are at 0%. Now let's check out the game forecast. At kickoff, it will be mostly sunny with a temperature at 60 degrees. At halftime, it will still be mostly sunny with the temperature moving up to 63. And at the end of the game, the temperatures stay at 63, still with mostly sunny skies. So it's going to be kind of cool out there. Make sure you and Kevin bring a jacket. Uh -huh. Don't want you guys catching a cold or anything. All right, I will take note of that. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it for this week's episode. I'm John Bowles for Kevin Gregan. And I'm Anthony Saylor. And we'll see you next week.